Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make your virtual lockets. I've had several questions on what the best way is to do these. Um, I personally use Microsoft Word because I find that I can layer the lockets really well and move them around really well and then you can save that locket as a picture file um, one of two ways and I'm going to show you both ways and then you can add it to any flyers that you might do later on. So you're going to start with going to the website and also having your document, uh, your Word document open and ready. And we are going to start with the locket and you're going to go in here and choose, I'm going to do the football locket that I just did. Um, on one of my most recent flyers. I have the medium silver locket with crystals and you just open it. You're going to right click on the picture and click on copy image. Then you're going to come over here to your document and you're going to control V which will copy it and paste it right onto your document. You can also right click and click on paste, but I find it much easier just to control V, which will paste it right into your document. And then what you want to do first thing is you're going to left click and highlight it. And then you're going to right click, go down to wrap text and put, I do all of them in front of text. That will mean you're able to actually move this around, make it bigger, and put stuff on top of it. And then next you're going to want to uh, set the transparency to where uh, you can add other, like your charms or your, or your um, dangles or your chain on here, but without it overlapping. Because right now all of this back here is white. So if you put a charm in there, you're going to have a white box around the charm. So we don't want to do that. It depends on your version of Word, but in my version, you double click, it will come up with the picture tools, which is formatting. And you go over here to the color, down to the bottom, and click on set, set transparent color. And the transparent color in, with, in this particular picture is gonna be the white. So you're gonna click right on there and it's going to make this whole background transparent. That is very important so you don't have the white box around your locket. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so I can work with it a little easier. So then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go over here and I always choose the chain next and we'll do the um, ball station chain. So you wanna make it bigger right click copy image back over here control V and there's your chain now you see as long as you don't if you don't wrap it you're not able to move it I'm trying to drag it over here you're not able to do anything with it so you want to right click wrap text in front of text and as soon as you do that you're able to move it now can you see the white box that I was talking about this is why you want to do the transparent background. Double click, color, set transparent color as soon as you do that. Now what you can see is gone on here is your chain is showing in front of your locket. So it doesn't really look like the locket is hanging on the chain. So what you're going to want to do is right click on the chain and then you're gonna want to send the chain to the back. So what you're doing is you're layering your pictures to where what you want in the front is in the front and the rest of the stuff is in the back. So we're gonna send it to the back and now you can see your locket is in front and it looks like your locket is actually hanging on your chain. Now I'm gonna go back over here and we'll add a couple of charms we'll go to the sports and we'll do the football right click copy image control V wrap text in front of text 
double click, color, transparent, get rid of the box. And you can see how automatically you can see that there's no, there's no box around it. Then you're going to resize it. This little green thing right here, you can move it and pop it right down into your locket. Since this is a medium locket, these are probably about that size. Then we're going to go back. I'm going to do the helmet. Right click, copy image, control V. Right click, wrap text in front, double click, color, set transparent color. There you go. Um, I'm not going to say all of that for these next two things. I'm just going to go ahead very quickly and just put them in here. There's the helmet. And then I want to put two accent stones in here. We'll do the red. I always do UGA lockets just because I'm basically live in Athens. So um, you can do this whatever colors you want. Control V. And you'll get pretty good at this. Once you do it a couple of times, you can throw one of these together in about a couple of minutes. Um, play around with it, see what it looks like. And it's really helpful for your customers um, so they can see what their lockets look like. Okay, one thing I wanted to say is if, say you wanted the football, these are overlapping a little bit. Say you want the football to come in front of this stone. You're going to click on the football if I can select it and then you're going to right click and you're going to bring the football to the front you see how now the football is in front I don't particularly want that in this case but if that's the if you want it to be layered differently all you have to do is right click and then send it back to the back and now the locket is in front of it so I'm going to send the locket to the back there we go it's all about layering your picture. See, now I've messed that up. And the chains, now that the lock is sent to the back, now I have to change the chain to go to the back as well. And now it's all layered the way that I want it to be. I'm going to put one more in here. I'm going to do the black. And there you have your four charms in your locket. And then we can add a dangle. So if any customer um, gets in contact with you and wants a to know what their locket would look like in a particular manner, uh, they want certain charms, wanted to see what they'll look like together, you can always throw one of these together. Of course, a real locket would be better to show them, but we don't always have... Uh, all of our uh, inventory we don't always have all of the products that the customers want so this is a good way to be able to not only do flyers but to also um, show customers what their lockets will look like and here we go we just pop the dangle right to where it looks like it's hanging on the chain and there you go you have your locket made now the next step is to get this into a picture file. There are two ways, depending on your system, um, the, your, your computer system that you're using. I personally have this right here. It's a snipping tool and um, I use Windows 7. So you click on the snipping tool and it'll bring this up and all you have to do is outline just like this and you'll click file save as and it saves it as a JPEG file you can save it as JPEG a GIF or a PNG um, simple as that I'll show you one more time you just hit snipping tool It'll pop up with this box and you literally just outline it and save it. Now, a lot of us don't have um, 
a lot of people don't have the snipping tool available on their system. So what you can also do is click on print screen. It's at the top of your keyboard. And then you're going to want to go into your paint program and control V to paste into your paint program. Oops. And then all you'll do is go over here and crop your image and go back up here and click crop and then file save as and you'll have the option to choose which type of file you want to save it at. Um, I usually do the PNGs because they are the best um, for the for the web it seems to me they have the best quality um, but you can choose whichever one you want and then you'll have them in your folder in your documents to where you can use it whenever you want um, and you can add it to flyers or um, put it on your fan page or however you want to use it um, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask um, my email is k-e-l-l-e-y at hootinglockets.com or you can always um, Facebook me or uh, send me a tweet or you can text me at 470-253-HOOT.